Okay, guys. So, I broke my last microphone. So, I don't know if you can see it there. But, it's not working anymore. So, I had to order a new one. Which came in yesterday, but then I ended up working yesterday. Doing a wedding. So, I finally get to ride. She's been sitting in the garage here for a few days now. Starts right up still. Not like my old bikes that had a carburetor. Those would not start up that easy. And it's been raining the past few days. Which today looks pretty clear, but clouds look like it's going to get windy tonight or tomorrow. So it might be my only day to ride this week. We'll see. Uh, it's always so hard getting out of this garage with all these cars here. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I had recorded a video of me driving back after doing the time lapse that I did, um, but audio was completely screwed up so don't get to use that one I don't feel like trying to make the same drive again just so I can show you guys the video I was going to show you before you guys will end up seeing Albuquerque most of it so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing a tour of all the Breaking Bad locations here in Albuquerque and I figure the best one to start with is going to be uh, Walt's house so we're going to go see Walter White's house. It's actually not super far from where I live. It's over here off of Eubank. Um, I've actually, myself, never went and seen it. So this will be interesting for me as well. And also I have a couple friends on Clash of Clans that I promised I'd give a shout out to. It's um, Jody and Omar. Um, those guys are my first subscribers on YouTube. And uh, we talk a lot on Clash of Clans. And uh, if everybody else uh, that watches these videos plays Clash of Clans, let me know um, down in the comments. It's a nice day out today. Not too hot, not too cold. It's weird. There's snow on top of the Sandias where, I don't know if you noticed my um, intro, but that uh, picture I actually took a few weeks ago of the bike on top of the sandy is and now there's snow up there in uh, May which is kind of unheard of and, uh, one other topic I kind of want to talk about is lane splitting I live here in Albuquerque where um, people don't really do much lane splitting however it's not illegal um, I looked up the laws, they're the same as they are in California, and as far as I'm concerned, it's perfectly legal what I'm doing. Whether it's necessary or not, at times I'm not sure. Um, traffic travels fast through Albuquerque, so you don't really need to ever lane split at much speed. I'll do it at some lights, just because like that light back there is notorious for people not paying attention. It's such a short space between the two lights that it's more likely that I would get rear-ended there. So far I haven't really gotten anybody that gets mad at me for lane splitting like that. Eventually I will. At that point I'm not sure how I'm going to react to that. Um, like I kind of said in one of my first videos, I am a person that gets road rage pretty easy. Um, I'll have the camera recording, of course, whenever something happens. I hope nothing does. Um, but I've had people, since I've gotten the bike, I had one person that uh, almost hit me because um, they went around some bikers in a no-passing zone. And here in New Mexico, a uh, bicyclist has the same rights as a car. Um, you can't pass them in a no-passing zone. That's just how it works. Um, but they passed in a no-passing zone, and I was um, coming around the corner there, and the guy almost hit me in his car. 
Um, so I, w I was kind of mad about it. I turned around, followed him, and uh, we both stopped. And he jumped out of his car. I told him, uh, pretty much, you're gonna end up killing somebody driving like that. You're stupid. You need to stop. And he proceeded to tell me that I was in the wrong and to get off my bike so he could fight me. <laughs> Which, of course, I didn't. I told him, you know, I'm not here to fight you. I'm here to try to tell you that way you don't end up killing somebody else. Because you almost hit me back there. And he didn't want to hear any of it. Um, and he kept telling me to get off the bike and fight him. So I ended up leaving. Um, but I'm wearing full gear. I have a helmet on. I have reinforced gloves. Um, I have an armored um, jacket and pants on, so I don't know what the guy was thinking, honestly. I mean, everything I'm wearing is meant to protect me. If I fall off this bike doing 50, 60 miles an hour, I am i don't think anything would happen to me if he tried to hit me. I mean, it's stupid. I don't know why people try to fight with uh, motorcyclists that are in full gear like this. This car is coming up behind me really damn fast for no damn reason. <laughs> damn, that threw me off. I ended up turning on the wrong street. So this is one to go actually work right over here. Um, or maybe I turned because I'm so used to turning there to go to work. Um, but let's go find Walter White's house. I'm going to try to go through um, each location, uh, either one or two in each video. Um, Walter White's is the only one that I have looked up the address and know where it is. And um, I'll also show you the octopus car wash that Walter White worked at. Um, he, of course, doesn't work there anymore. That, what am I saying? <laughs> um, I'll show you the octopus car wash that Walter White worked at. Um, it's no longer called Octopus Car Wash. I guess the owner sold it, and it's now a Mr. Car Wash or something stupid. I keep turning on these random ass streets and feel stupid already. <laughs> this also isn't the street that I'm needing to turn on. So here's Eubank. We're going to take Eubank over to Comanche. And it should be the third road on the right should be Piermont, and that's where Walter White's house is. I guess the owners of the house <laughs> have actually... It was in the news here in Albuquerque. I'm sure it wasn't in news anywhere else just because nobody else cares. Um, but the owners had been complaining, and I guess they have some signs up. People kept going and throwing pizzas on the roof of the house, and they have to had to keep um, taking them down. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I don't, I don't know why people would want to go and throw pizzas on the house. I mean, they should know that that isn't, <laughs> like, owned by the studio or anything, that somebody lives there. Um, but I guess nobody cares or pays attention. Here's Piermont. And Walter White's house should be right up here. Let's see. Let's make a little bit of a turn here. So I'm sure you can remember the show. Um, this is where they'd always park to watch. And it seemed like it's such a long um, drive. But right there is um, Walter White's house. Um, it's 3828 Piermont Drive um, here in Albuquerque. But there are a bunch of signs that say private property, no trespassing, um, security cameras in use and everything. But this little street is actually quite short, and I guess just through trickery of the camera, they made it seem like such a long street to get up this little street here.
um, to the house. But I'm sure they're tired of seeing people over here. I don't know, it would probably be hard to live there with everything. And it sucks to have to put up all those signs just to stop people from throwing pizzas up on that house and stuff. I don't know, they were in the garage, I guess I could have went and talked to them. But they get enough of that, I'm sure. Um, they don't want to hear any more from anybody else about it, they're tired of it. Um, at least from the signs and everything. They seem like they're a little bit tired of it. Let's see, there's some gravel here. Didn't want to go around that too quick. It's weird that they just like sort of repaved this, but they didn't pave over the lines because they didn't feel like repainting it or something stupid. I don't know. Albuquerque is the only place that I've seen that they do roads the way they do here. So this is Eubank Boulevard, and we're actually going to go right over to the car wash over here. It's funny, the car wash is um, pretty close to Walter White's house, but the school that he worked at is actually way in the hell on the other side of Albuquerque, so it's, it's a little weird that they chose a school that far away, but here's Manal and Eubank, so it's about two blocks over. And there's Car Wash, Mr. Car Wash, which used to be the Octopus Car Wash. We're going to turn here and go in there. Um, but that used to be the Octopus that Walter White worked at. It sucks that they changed the name. It's been Octopus Car Wash forever here in Albuquerque, and it was a local name. And um, now, for some reason, they sold out to a big company, which wasn't a good move. In my opinion, the name meant more than going to a big company, but it's, it still seems pretty busy. And I, so I guess they're doing okay for themselves. But there's Octopus Car Wash for you. And I think it used to say Octopus across the top. I don't know, maybe I can find a picture online to show you guys. But there's Octopus for you. Alright guys, so, I am going to end this video here, need to go get some gas, I might go practice some willies or something, see what I can record for you guys, and I'll see you on the next video, see you guys.